Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. This is Euro Farms. This is a new to console map by Nismo. Uh, it had an update yesterday and part of the update was the release to console. Uh, where do we actually start? Well, if we look on the map, this is the map. I do my map tools on new farmer mode. So if we just click on that, we start with both farms and there are two farms on this map there's the main farm here which has a load of our equipment on and there's a secondary farm over here there aren't that many cell points we've got Tara which is the main cell point and Tara Plus which is right next to it between the two of them they take pretty much all the main crop types so we've got all the regular ones at Tara then Tara Plus takes your potato sugar, uh, sugar beet and sugar cane but we do have a barn cell point a dairy milk cell point sawmill and spinnery which we're going to get round and we're going to have a look at this one does also have a train that runs around we haven't had a map with a train on for quite a while it's only a small loop but it runs around past the sawmill very nice indeed actually we'll go back onto that because we're going to have a look at field prices field prices vary from very small down here 47 grand to rather large there at 1.7 million so there's, a, there's something for everyone and I like the fact some maps you get where you've got loads and loads and loads of, loads of really small fields which are great to get going but you want to kind of build up a little bit some maps have loads and loads and loads of big fields and you've got to get a load of money to be able to afford them I like the fact you can start off small you can work your way up that's it's just a nice option to have the biogas plant which is just here you need to buy to be able to use that's 148,572 so up at the store and this is where we start it's an unusual place to start well for me for a map tour not on a map because you can go wherever you like because i've got no vehicles up here but i can take in a couple of the um cell points now i have sped up time to just got nine o'clock because of the light i don't know if these are locked overnight because sometimes nine o'clock is the cutoff point but the gates open and close for me fine after nine they may well work before nine o'clock i just didn't check them before nine sorry um, but this is the only entrance and exit from the shop the store now the other weird thing with this is that it's going to split into two halves so you've got you've got your buy point there but obviously you can do it in through your main menu as well anyway but your vehicles spawn here on this large area this is also the reset point so if you get anything stuck or anything like that and you need to reset it will reset here your repair configure cell point is just here so when everything spawns there's no other gate out of here it's only the main gate there which means you have to drive around the back and out the main gate i'm just pointing out what's here i'm trying to do this <laughs> not put across my opinion on how I feel about certain things because people don't necessarily like that I'm just stating the fact that that's what you have to do you have to drive all the way around whether people are going to like that or not like that that's entirely up to you so that's the, that's the main store and that's going to be your reset point what we are going to do there's the train going past just walk on the road we're going to go to the Tara and Tara Plus sale points up at this north um, east corner ish we have got Tara, Tara Plus, Lime Cell Point and Barn are all up here. What I like is the railway is kind of... just like the landscape is taking over again. It's, you know... I'm just really I don't know, it's a nice kind of look. I like the fact that all the barriers come down. And I suppose because it has been a little while. I'm trying to think of the last map we had on console that had trains you could run. Someone asked me this the other day about trains and said that they couldn't get onto the trains. Make sure that in your menu you have got switch to trains turned on. Because if you haven't, it won't automatically... If you tab through your vehicles, it won't tab into a train if you haven't got that turned on. And also, I don't think on some maps it doesn't work on multiplayer moving to trains. But anyway, oh actually before I move any further on, mods on this map there are a list of required mods now this is a little bit of a niggle for me and this is my own personal opinion i understand when maps come out and the map maker uses mods from other people and it will say required mods because they've used particular mods that you need to have installed for it to work 
the list of required mods for this map are all by Nismo. So there are plenty of map makers out there that have made their maps and included loads and loads of mods within the map itself. This one you get the map but you have to have a load of Nismo mods installed as well. Um, so the memory on this, weirdly the mod hub says 269.7 but when you actually come to download it from the PlayStation mod hub, it's 257.36 megabytes to download. You think, actually, that's not too bad. But when you add on all of the required mods by Nismo you need to download, that goes up a bit. Not hugely, maybe about another 100 megabyte, maybe somewhere around there. Um, what I'm going to do is put up on the screen now. So on the mod tab, if you do a search and put in Nismo, you'll get all the mods by Nismo come up. Now, as you've just seen, some of them say the same thing. So there are multiple mods by Nismo that say garage or garages. There are multiple ones that say grain storage. There are some that say shed and sheds. I think out of all of the Nismo mods that we've got on the mod tab, you have to download all but three of them, I think. And one of those is a map. So, I don't know. I take that over one... I, for me that's just a little bit of a niggle they could have been included in because if we have a look now into the mod situation animal pens for example the one we had to download was this one the cow shed one that's part of the required mods however there is a large cow pasture mod included in this so if there are some mods included in here why weren't they all included in while we're on that, the large cow pasture will hold 200, the cow shed mod will do 50 or 15, depending on what you have. The rest are all standard ones if you want to have them. Now, this map only has two, uh, there's a cow pasture and the cow barn, cow, sorry, cow shed. There are no other animals on this map so far, so you'd have to add them in if you wanted to. Under silos, we've got the bunker silo. You had to download that as a mod, a required mod, but the big silo is included with the map. Um, that will do 800,000 litres of all your main crop types, including sugarcane, which they don't always do. They do cereal crops, they don't always do sugarcane. That will do sugarcane. Uh, decoration, I don't think we've got anything under mods. Under sheds, we've got an absolute load. Like I say, we've got shed, sheds, garage, garages, grain storage, there are loads. You have to download pretty much all of them. And as you can see at the top, the slot count is sitting at 725 out of 1299. There's another reason for that. That's fairly high for a low megabyte download map. And here's why. If we go across to our vehicles, go to garage, you'll see that we have loads of stuff. Two vouchers, three John Deere's, Krona Big X 1180, we've got feed mixers, we've got multiple trailers, headers for the forage harvester, we've got loads of grass equipment, windrowers, mowers, uh, tedders, loading wagon, feed mixer. I mean, you start with a ton of stuff, I mean, an absolute load of stuff, and then all of these sheds, bunker silos, garages, grain storage, but there's also a farmhouse mod as well in there so that's why the slot count is fairly high if you come onto this on farm manager that drops down to 597 the same as on start from scratch 597 the only difference between them is you don't get all of these buildings you still get all of the vehicles all of this so on farm manager and start from scratch you have all of the machinery you just don't have all of the buildings if you sell everything off if you decide, you know what, I don't want any of that, you can get the slot count down to 332. So you can drop it right down. Um, it does start with a huge amount of equipment, which if you want to just get going and you don't want to mess around with stuff, that's absolutely fine. So yeah, we kind of spiralled a bit from the required mods into what mods are available and then what machinery we start with, but that kind of covers pretty much everything. Um, right, so the Tara cell point is this large building here. So that's the first of our cell points. We are going to look at the... Um, railway in a little while and the great thing with the Tara cell point is you can actually sell at the cell point from the train as well so the Tara cell point can either be by road or by train however you want to go about it that's in type to you now one thing you may have noticed as we go along as well the color palette on this map is a little bit more muted than on some 
and the shadows are very shadowy as you can probably tell when you turn towards the light there's a lot of dark sounds like something from Star Wars doesn't it Benny? <laughs> anyway yeah the, the dark areas are very dark I know not everyone likes that on a map but I've noticed you know when I was trying to get a thumbnail and stuff if you turn even slightly towards where the light's coming from there's a lot of very very dark areas but that's just the way the lighting's been done barn cell point is this one just here sometimes just go right kind of 90 degrees on to get the triggers if I open the other door we'll get some more light in actually there we go so this is the barn cell point just here so we've got Tara barn cell point and then we've got a line point just here and then we've got Tara plus which is the cell point for your sugar cane potatoes and sugar beets and that's just through here again let's like say it's a lot of dark bits but open that up open that up do the other door the other side like so this is your cell point for Tara plus so where are we on the map well we started at the shop we walked on the road cross over the railway which just kind of cuts through here it's not that clearly defined but it is on here so we've done Tara, Lime Station, Barn, Tara Plus. What I'm going to do now is jump to the main farm. So we're going to kind of skip this little bit of countryside. I don't want to walk all the way down there, but it will take ages. Not because I don't want to, it'll just take a while. Now we'll get to the main farm here. We'll look at the spinnery, then we'll drive around and we'll take in the other cell points and various different features along the way. So, off of the road, just here, we are down at the main farm. If we open the gate, the farmhouse is just here with your sleep trigger like so we've got quite a few large buildings this is all part of the, all the sheds and things if you come onto this on um, farm management start from scratch none of these sheds and buildings are here I did try placing another one down to make sure and they place fine um, I didn't have too much of an issue and we do have lights on these I'm trying to know where the light panel was there are lights inside these barns but they're fairly dark oh, it's right at the very end isn't it so there's tons of barn and building space. Come on. Of course you're not going to work anyway. To, to torment me. Oh man. There we go. Lights. There we go. Some of these triggers are a little bit funny to find, but you get there in the end. So we've got another one of those big buildings there. A couple of the trailers that we start with just here. We are now facing north. Let me turn that off. So there's another one of those big buildings there. Then we've got quite a few machine sheds that have got our various different bits of equipment in. The forage harvester. I don't think there's anything in this one. I couldn't find a workshop trigger um, around this main farm anywhere but these have lights as well inside and then this side we've got various different trailers our various different John Deere's that we own oh, come on there we go so a quick look in there so as you can see uh, feed mixer John Deere couple of Joskin trailers the other John Deere there we are going to use this actually for going around the map and as we go up the yard, we've got one of our cow sheds. Just there. Trigger is just there for buying, selling, loading or unloading. We've got our slurry point there, then we've got our milk trigger further over. And the troughs are just inside. And then we've got two bunker silos. Another John Deere. Don't get me wrong, they're nice looking tractors. I don't think we've ever come across a map where you start with three John Deere's plus two other ones. So we've got five start tractors, which is, I think, quite high for any map I've been on. And then this is the um, the modded silo. Nice big silo set up. And this is a drive-in, drive-through. Try and get the light on it from this side so get a better look at it. It's nice, that. And that, in essence, is the main farm. That's the machinery, the sheds...
all very nice indeed. Just looking at my list to make sure I don't miss anything off. Oh yeah, what I was going to say as well, those required mods are not an automatic download. That's the other thing that's a little bit frustrating. Some maps, if there are required mods, you click on the map and it automatically downloads them. It didn't. So that's why I had to do a search in the mod hub for Nismo and then went on and went through the mods to actually download them individually. Again, just worth, worth mentioning. Contracts are available on this map. I like the landscape, I like the colour palette. It does have a very nice feel to it. I could have gone that way, but I think that's... Did that say no entry? I can't remember. No, it does say in the mod tub there are seven forests. I'm sure it says seven. It was scrolled next to me. Oh, seven selling stations. I thought I read something. Yeah, seven forest, it says. Forestry is dotted around the map. With the South Spinnery cell point, just here. Just there, in the marked area. Come back out the other side and we'll head down the map a little bit. So, the roads do kind of follow right the way around the map. But there are a couple of cut-throughs. We're going to use one of those to cut across the map. Now, obviously, this being a kind of review, map tour-esque first look. It depends how you want to refer to it. I'm always, I try to be a little bit kind of more open with a, it's more a kind of map tour than a first look because I've kind of already looked at it myself. People do get kind of a little bit bent out of shape with, if, you know, whatever title you use. Some people do try to take it very seriously. Um, take it however you want. First look, map tour, review, you know, it is what it is. So we're going to cut across here. Like I said, the road does carry on down, follows round and up the side here. And there's, there's more landscapes taken, but there's no cell points or anything down there to look at. We've got some big fields that we're going to pass, so I thought it makes more sense to cut across. And the same when we get to here, we've got these tracks that run right the way down. We've got a bit of forestry up the side there. Like, so there are a few bits knocking around. And we're going to head up, we'll do the milk cell point, animal dealer, and then our secondary farm, and then we've got a few more points we're going to take in. There aren't that many. That having Tara and Tara Plus, that's your main cell point. But I've said before with various different maps, um, there are quite a few modded cell points available in the mod hub now. So if you do come onto a map and think, oh, there's, just, there's not enough cell points for me, I'm just, you know, you can play cell points, you know, buy a bit of land, put the cell points on, and you can, you can add cell points in if you want a bit more variety. There are a few in there. If nothing else, like I've said before, it's a kind of, you know, just to get a feel for the map, if nothing else. If you don't take anything from the review side of it, or the tour side of it, or just to get a kind of look and a feel, you know, you might just feel instantly, yeah, I'm drawn to this, I like it. Or you might think, you know what, I again, I, you can appreciate the work that's gone into it, you appreciate the map, but maybe it's not for you. And that, you know, that's the beauty of having so many to choose from. Hopefully, at some point, there'll be something you absolutely like. Or love, or you know, there's always something for everyone. So, continuing on, we're heading northwest. That's a lot of nice features, and I think once you, if if you sold off everything, all the machinery and sheds and stuff like that, and you've got the slot count down to three, three, two, when you look at the detail on the map, that's a pretty good slot count on console for a nicely detailed map. What we are going to do is take a turn just to the right here, which will take us to the sawmill. The sawmill is also accessible by train. So we've got the Tara cell point and the sawmill. can be done by road or train, which is nice. If you want to go and do a bit of logging elsewhere, put it onto the train, bring it over and unload it. That's, you know, it's a nice feature to have. So the sawmill is just here with the railway running right way through the middle. Woodchip cell point is just over there. And your lumber cell point is just inside the building there. Now you have to be a little bit careful because unlike across the roads where you've got the uh, crossings and the barriers come down, you don't have barriers here at the sawmill. So if the train is honking around, you need to just just bear that in mind. <laughs> so 
So back out onto the road and we'll go to the livestock market animal dealer and uh, secondary farm. And the secondary farm says, I'm sure it says cow pasture from the mods hub, but it's not actually a pasture, it's a, it's a big shed, it's just another big shed. I think it's just how it was named in, in, uh, as a mod. A lot of the barriers and things have collisions, that's something else to bear in mind. Uh, which, oh, hang on. Before I forget, this one down here is where the dairy cell point is. So just tucked in here, under the, uh, the lee of the roof, we've got the dairy milk cell point just here. So a livestock market animal dealer is just here. You can obviously buy direct and put it straight into the pens if you want to, or if you want to use a trailer and come, you can collect from here. That's your livestock market. Directly opposite, we've got the second farm. Again, plenty of shed space. Now this is where the machinery is split. Over the other side, you've got the John Deere's and the... Um, forage harvester and a few trailers this side is all the grass work equipment so this is where you've got the two vouchers your windrower mower tedder is all over here although there's not a baler is there just some thought Why that not open? There go. but we do have forks and feed mixer so we do have two feed mixers you start with the self-propelled one and the trailed one both vouchers are in here like i say all your grass equipment your loading wagon is all there um, and then this one, this side, I don't think has got anything in it. Pretty sure it's just a big old shed. Yeah, there we go. Huge shed there. Now, cow pasture. Or secondary cow barn, however you refer to it, is up here. Again, a little bit of darkness, but... Triggers for feed and things are inside. Other end, I think, is the trigger for... There we go. Buying, selling, loading or unloading. It's done there and I think the milk point is in here. There we go. Slurry and... There we go. Digester is there. I'm trying to think where the manure appeared. God, did this one come out as a mod? I can't remember now. Was it along the side or did you have to muck them out? I can't remember. But anyway, that's, that's most of the points on there. It's one of those situations that once you start feeding the animals and you, you'll suddenly work out very quickly where the manure is and where it needs to go to. So, one thing I didn't show, which I should have done, um, is if you come and start from scratch or farm manager, obviously you don't have these farms, what do they actually cost? Um, for that one, the main farm there is 301,000. For this one here is only 55. So, if you wanted to start a farm, but again, you don't have to start your farms here. You could pick you know, there's plots all over the place if you want to buy a different plot if you want to start your farm elsewhere of course you know that's the whole point of start from scratch and farm manager uh, right so moving on from there i'm going to come back later on and close all the doors and gates and don't worry don't worry about it be fine one thing i wasn't sure about though was the farmhouse if i sell the farmhouse does the farmhouse disappear because it's not a doormat it let me that's a good point, actually. Let's go to garage. I just want to check something. I am curious. If I sell that... Let's just jump over. Right, the trigger has gone. So that's interesting. The building's still there, so what is it that moved? I didn't see a... Was there a mat on the floor? Or I didn't see anything. So I guess the next thing to do, if we go to that, go to that, what is it I'm actually placing? Right, so it's across the map to, where do I want to go? Up here. 
if I wanted my sleep trigger to be over here where am I placing it? only one hour item allowed per farm but I haven't got one because I sold it did it let me place it here? it did, ok so the weird thing is there's nothing you can see, nothing visual. So maybe the first time I clicked it, it did it, it did it, and then because I didn't see anything actually happen, that's when it said only one place, but I don't know what I've placed or where I've placed it, but I have managed to move it. So you can move your sleep trigger. That's good. Right, we know that. I thought I'd test that while I was on here. I know people often ask and I say, well, you know what, it's not something I thought to check. So moving on from here, we've only got a couple more to look at. Like I said, there are some nice features. The landscape's cool. There's plenty of uh, like dirt tracks. Fields are all very open. It's not enclosed with hedges and fences. The ability to use well, small, medium, and large machinery, I guess, it, you know, shouldn't be too much of an issue. The large machinery moving along the roads might be a little bit trickier. I know sometimes people just turn traffic off because they find that to be a nuisance. Again, however you want to go about it, it's entirely up to you. But, you know, there is the scope for using large machinery if you want to. See what I mean about the light? It's just getting it just right so you can... Oh, just hit. Oh, there you go. Collisions on those. You don't always get that on a lot of maps. So, beware of those. I don't use the word for them. Yesterday's mod review, I got clobbered by YouTube for the use of frequent profanity. Apparently, I don't recall using any profanity whatsoever, apart from the name used for these particular items, which I'm not going to say. <laughs> I'm just not going to say it, because it'll happen again. These things. There was a mod yesterday by Mappers Paradise that had retractable ones of those. That's the only word I can think of that I used that could have incurred the uh, the wrath of YouTube but weirdly it says it was checked by manual review I'm not quite sure who manually reviewed it but <laughs> very peculiar anyway the biogas plant should you buy it should you wish to use it which you absolutely can the cell points to put into the digesters well, that's not kind of actually connected to it's just there two large bunker silos and our digestate tank is more of a lagoon on this one. I like the fact it's different. Again, it's, this is not just a, a, a grabbed BGA, plunk it down, there you go, there's your BGA. This is slightly different. So there's your digestate point just there for your byproducts. Now, I'm just checking for PC. I'm pretty sure this is manure system ready. It is, and that's probably why you've got the lagoon to the side as well with the pipe there. Um, because it's manure system ready for PC just there for plugging or connecting your hoses and things for the manure system right, moving on from here I think we're on to the last point yeah, on this one there is a dedicated water refill point uh, but as I've said before there are so many modded water cell points and various different triggers and standpipes and you know tanks and things that you can get you can place them pretty much anywhere you want, but this map does have a dedicated water point should you wish to come and collect your water from right here. And that, I think, is it. We've been round sawmill, went round there, out along the main road, biogas plant, water, then we'll head up back towards the shop. Right, so what I'm going to do now, turn the engine off, and we'll switch to train. So I'm starting out on the train just behind Tara and Tara Plus. We're going to get back round to there and we'll finish there in a minute. But just to get a bit of a feel for the landscape via train, it's not a very long route, but we'll have a look as we go around. Why not? Like I say, it's nice to have a nice to have a train on the map that you can use again. It's not a particularly long train. It's a couple of two, three carriages for taking main crops. You've got a lumber one and the rear one. You can put pallets and things like that on. Um, always remember, if you are selling from a train, into a cell point well on this one it's only going to be Tara if you press triangle to switch between your your objects your vehicles, tools that will switch between your carriages 
so you need to have it on the correct carriage over the correct sell point for it to unload. You know, some people often find it it's a little bit tricky and they can't get it to work, so make sure you are on the correct carriage for it to sell. So we come through the sawmill. So you can unload your lumber here if you want to. Got a quite a tight hairpin turn round. There's no way to switch tracks, you can't go on any other bits, this is the loop that goes round. And then we go around behind the biogas plant. Just there, and then back up across the landscape, past the water point, which is where we just were, there's the John Deere. And we're going to head up back to the crossing point. I'll have to dip down as well in here. It's just, a, it's a nicely put together map. It's, you know. The stall where we started, just up there. And as we come through the back of Tara that I showed you before, so you can unload here at the sell point at the back of Tara. And that's the that's the train line. It's not a very big loop, but it goes round. And that's the map. That's Euro Farms by Nismo. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.